Hello, good morning sir, good morning classmates. So today we're going to talk about the Stenberg Successful Intelligence Theory and WICS model. But first, let me introduce you the proponent of this theory. Robert J. Stenberg is a cognitive psychologist who is currently the provost and professor of psychology at Oklahoma State University. Robert Stenberg did extensive work in the field of intelligence. As a youngster, he had difficulty with intelligence tests and that led him to come up with a triac theory of intelligence in the 1980s. So, from his complicated triarchic theory, it later on evolved into a simpler one, the Successful Intelligence Theory. Successful Intelligence Theory So, the theory of successful intelligence points that some students who do not do well in conventional courses may, in fact, have the ability to succeed if they are taught in a way that better fits their patterns of abilities. So this includes four skills. First, we have memory skills. Help us recall facts and pieces of information. It helps us retain the knowledge we acquire that is needed to begin thinking creatively. One cannot apply knowledge which he cannot remember. So second, we have analytical skills. It helps the person determine if a certain idea is good. Analysis is important before one can think of new and better ideas. So third, we have creative skills. Allow a person to come up with a new idea. Usually to answer a need of solve a problem. It makes one flexible and able to adjust changes in one's situation. Creativity gives birth to a new and better solutions to problems. Without creativity, we will get trapped in things and ways that don't work anymore. And last, we have practical skills. Enable a person to apply what one has learned. It also allows one to carry through or implement a plan. Practical intelligence, on the other hand, makes us apply what we have learned. It gets us to actually do what needs to be done. So, in collaboration with other prominent psychologists, he proposed the WICS model. So, it stands for Wisdom, Intelligence, Creativity, and Synthesize. It is vital that we remember what we learn. So, it is memory. Use critical thinking to evaluate the things we learn. It is analytical. Be innovative in finding better ways of doing things and solving problems. So, it is creative and last, also apply and put to action what we learn. It is practically. So, the WICS model stands for wisdom, intelligence, creativity, and synthesis. The basic idea is that citizens of the world need creativity to form a vision of where they want to go and to cope with changes in the environment. Analytical intelligence to certain whether their creative ideas are good one. Practical intelligence to implement their ideas and to persuade others of the value of their ideas. And wisdom in order to ensure that the ideas will help achieve some ethically based common good over the long and short terms rather than just what is good for them and their families and friends so your role as a teacher or our role as a teacher is not to educate the mind alone but to educate the soul as well so applying the WICS model so, how do you teach analytically? So, make your students use critical thinking. Design tasks and activity that provide opportunity for your learners to first analyze, critique, judge, compare and contrast, evaluate and last assess. How do you teach or how do we teach creatively? 
So, it is important for you to encourage and sustain your students' creative ideas. Remember to be an example for them by taking the risk to share your own creative ideas. So, design tasks and activities that help students to create, invent, discover, imagine if supposed, that protect. So, how do you teach or how do we teach practically? Have in mind real life situations where students can use what they learn to meet their own and also others' practical needs. Design tasks and activities that allow your students to apply, use, put into practice, implement, employ, or render practical what they know. So, how do you teach for wisdom? One of the goals is for learners to learn to see and understand the point of view of others. It is important for your learners to balance one's own needs with the needs of other people and also that of the world or the environment. It is developing your learners to consistently act based on positive ethical values. So you teach for wisdom when you are able to involve your students to first try to find a common good. See things from others' point of view. Balance your own interests with those with others and for institutions. Look the short term as well as the short term. Reflect about how one can base every decision on positive ethical values. And last, appreciate that in life what is seen as true and effective may vary over time and place. The WICS model was successful for teachers and their learners as well because first, it celebrates the differences of learners through a supportive learning environment. Second, made students remember. Third, build on strengths of the learners. And fourth, strengthen the motivations of the learners. That's all. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you have learned a lot from my topic. God bless!